Welcome back and good morning. Here's a live look of the Highway 82 bridge heading east into Mississippi. So beautiful sunrise this morning, looking pretty great. And again, we were been grateful and lucky to have some nice weather for the last few days and for this weekend, and we'll continue to have it for today. But we're gradually starting to see more clouds moving in, and unfortunately, Storms could be moving in soon as well. Now here's a look at your headlines. Today will be mostly sunny, a little breezy, and just a little bit warmer today than it was for yesterday. So we mostly had clouds off in northeast Mississippi, but we've pretty much had mostly clear skies starting off our Monday morning. So it's 47 now in Greenville, 45 in Batesville, 49 in Greenwood, and 43 in Winona. Wind speeds are at 7 miles per hour in Greenwood and Monticello, 8 here in Greenville, and 6 up in Batesville. So the high for today will be in the upper 70s. The winds will be from the east-northeast direction around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then the winds will shift to become southwesterly a little later on this afternoon. Overnight lows will pretty much be in the upper 50s to near 60. So it's going to be a pretty warm night and then we'll continue to warm up just a little bit for tomorrow as our highs will be in the upper 70s to near 80. Now there will be some towns that could hit 80 and 81. Grenada, Carrollton and Lake Village could hit 80. Chula, Yazoo City and Kosciuszko could hit 81. So again, tomorrow is going to be a little bit warmer than it will be for today. Now the Mississippi River here at Greenville is still pretty high. It's at 42.2 feet. It's going to go down just a little bit for Tuesday and Wednesday and then by Thursday it should be at 42 feet and then gradually climbing back to 42 and a half feet by Saturday and the Yazoo River pretty much the same situation is still at a high level not dropping off too much so the latest observation was taken last night and then it has it at 30.6 feet now over the next few days it's barely going to go down by Saturday it should be right at 29 feet which is the flood stage now here's a look at what we're dealing with for Wednesday so last week to Tuesday was our severe weather day and now for this week it's Wednesday. So most of Mississippi, as you can see on this map, is under an enhanced risk for severe weather. And again, with the enhanced risk, that means we can't rule out severe thunderstorms, possible tornadoes, and also some damaging wind gusts and hail, at least quarter of an inch in size to about half an inch in size. So have your severe weather plan in place. And of course, if anything changes, we'll keep you informed. But so far, it looks like we could have another round of severe storms moving in for the middle of this week. Now looking at your future tracker, we're gradually going to have more clouds starting to move back in within the next 24 hours. And then by the time we get to Tuesday, we'll have more cloud cover moving over our area. And then as we get into Wednesday morning, then we'll start to have some showers moving in eastward from Arkansas, moving into the Delta, and the cold front should be right over us by the late afternoon, early evening hours for Wednesday. So sometimes the timing changes a little bit when the cold front will get to us, but the heavy line of showers and storms, the severe weather will be moving in ahead of the front, could possibly still have some showers lingering behind it, and then we'll have a drier day for Thursday and Friday. And then by Saturday, we could see some rain returning once again. So looking at your seven day forecast, so we'll have some breezy conditions and windy conditions for tomorrow through Thursday and it'll be a little breezy today. Again, we'll be drier for Thursday and Friday. Then we'll have more showers and thunderstorms returning for Saturday. We're looking at about 40% chance for that day and then we should be drying out once again by Sunday. Thanks for tuning in and now Ty back to you.